Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an integration technical architect. In this short video, we are going to see uh, the issues that we will face uh, when storing JSON payload uh, to database assets. Sometimes we might want to persist uh, uh, for the logging purpose uh, when we want to uh, uh, retrieve the incoming payload assets and we want to put it in the database with a uh, retrieved timestamp date and other uh, status details so while doing so we might uh, face some uh, problems which uh, i would like to demo now let's get started now i created a, a database table called uh, json and with just a single field uh, uh, called data let's uh, see that so there is only one field called data and uh, table name is json so this is where we are going to store the incoming payload assets and then we will see what happens. So I have created a, a simple uh, database flow. Let's uh, start from the beginning. And I have a HTTP listener where I'm going to introduce uh, a database insert operation. Let's do that. So let's choose insert. And uh, let's insert the configuration. Let's see what the configuration is. So I'm uh, trying to uh, 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 connect to the database called employee where the JSON DB table is available. And so, and uh, let me introduce uh, uh, insert into. So let's say insert into JSON and values. Uh, colon data so here let's introduce uh, parameters as usual we will introduce uh, expression notation and uh, open curly brace and end curly brace and inside it uh, we need to give a parameter called uh, data colon and we will store the incoming payload which is uh, a JSON data Okay, let's save this and uh, let's say set payload. Let's say insert successful. So let's run this and then see the outcome. So I have created already and I have a JSON payload and a JSON to string is the resource path. Let's run this. Say insert successful and let's go back and investigate uh, what the data is. And you can see here, uh, you see weird uh, data that's going in place of uh, payload. This is what I want you to observe. This is because the way in which the mule 4 treats the JSON as soon as it comes into the mule flow. So unlike uh, 3.x uh, uh, version, mule 4 treats the payload as a JSON, not as a JSON, but it treats it as a Java key value pair. This we have seen already uh, um, in the debug mode while run it. Uh, you can see, uh, we can immediately put the payload into the data wave and you can see at the right side, it all comes as a Java. So we need to keep in mind uh, that it's not JSON unlike 3.x version. So let's see how to uh, avoid this. So we are going to do a simple uh, manipulation. So we are going to introduce a transformation here. And uh, so instead of uh, Java, we are going to say JSON and we are going to say payload. And we will see um, result because we are converting to JSON and uh, JSON format again here it is a result and now instead of payload we will try to store payload dot result but surprisingly you will see the same result let me tell you uh, how and why I'm saving it and it's restarted Let's try the same thing again and let's go back to the database and then run. Now surprisingly you see the same thing again. So because again even after you convert it into JSON 
it still treats it as a key value pair in terms of the structure. So whatever given at the left is a key and whatever given at the right side of colon is the value. So it still treats it as a key value pair. So what we are going to do to actually consider it as a JSON, we are going to use a write function. So we are going to write payload in terms of uh, application JSON. And uh, as a string. So we are going to treat uh, this incoming data as is and we are going to store it as a JSON. So I mean we will see uh, as string uh, later but let's see uh, let's try to store it as a JSON itself. So let me save this. The application is restarted. Let's try now. Same result. Let's go back and then let's see here. Now you can see here it's uh, uh, stored as a JSON because write function uh, is used for that purpose because write function writes the content in the mind type uh, that is uh, uh, required as a resultant data. So that's it in this video. It's a small demonstration of how JSON is treated internally and how we need to store it uh, as is into the database table. Hope you liked it and felt it useful. If so, please hit thumbs up and subscribe my videos. Soon I will come up with more interesting topics. Thanks for watching. Bye.